Welcome to the AWARE Flood User Guide video, which explains the commands, initialization, and website navigation at flashflood.info. Enter this URL in your web browser and you will be taken to the login screen. Enter your username or email with your password credentials to log in. The home screen is organized by five tabs at the top of the screen, which are used for the overall network management. The first screen is the Map Overview, which shows a map with the locations of AWARE flood sensors on the left and a list of all the sensors on the right. You can rename your sensor by clicking on the pencil icon next to each sensor. A new window will open and you can enter a new entry name and alias for your sensor. Checking on an active sensor icon in the map will open a window that shows the sensor's latest data report. To see graphs and visualizations of the sensor's data, click on the Go to Unit dashboard. The first graph shows the depth and threshold indicator. Click on the parameters at the bottom of the graph to show changes over time. To change the amount of time displayed in the graphs, click the clock icon and select a time frame from the drop down menu. You can also click and drag on the graph to zoom in on the desired data point. The next graph down displays temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. The final two graphs visualize barometric pressure and the sensor's battery voltage and signal strength. You can also manually update the sensor's GPS and set the elevation to enable the mean height above sea level setting for the graph. Below the map is the Data and Settings window, where you can make changes to the sensor settings. Simply click on the map to return to the map overview. The next tab is the Alert Settings, which you set up to alert destinations, including emails. The Image Schedule tab is for sensors equipped with a water-resistant camera module. It allows users to schedule specific days and times for the unit to capture an image. The Export tab enables users to export data for desired units to either a CSV or Excel spreadsheet. Select a start and end date and the sensors from which you would like to export data. Finally, the command queue records every command that has been requested of each unit. The default window is set to the last day, but you may change the window by clicking on the clock icon near the top of the tab. To download the complete user guide, visit www.intellisenseinc.com.